Uh, hi guys, my name is Narayan and I welcome all of you in this video. After such a long time, I just uh, thought to create or prepare a small video about uh, types of ACLs, access, uh, access control list. So in this uh, video, we are going, going to learn about what are the uh, basic or uh, main, you can say main uh, types of ACLs. So before going further, I would like to introduce you about my channel. So I have a YouTube channel. And my YouTube channel is totally based on CCN and MCITP videos. Uh, if my videos are helpful for you, you just uh, please subscribe my channel for that. You just go to YouTube channel and type my name, Narayan Bagheel. So it will come on top only. As of now, I have uploaded some around uh, 258 videos. Uh, if videos are helpful, you can get more videos from here. And I will be keep posting more videos. So let me begin this. So the, the, as I said, uh, as I said, uh, we will learn in this video about the types of ACL. So uh, same thing is here that this topic describes the difference with uh, different type of uh, IP version for ACL and the methods to use to identify them. How we can identify uh, ACLs. So basically there are two types of ACLs. The first one is uh, standard. OK, and the second one is extended Excel. Uh, ACL. If we talk about uh, standard and uh, ACL uh, extended, so here uh, what uh, standard ACL uh, will do here? It checks source address and generally permits or deny entire protocol suit. So it will uh, it may allow or it may deny the entire protocol suit and it will check source address. If we talk about uh, extended access ACL so it will check both source as well as destination and uh, the next thing about uh, uh, extended ACL is generally permit or deny specific protocol and application so this is a uh, very uh, good uh, or you can say very important difference between uh, standard A ACL and extended ACL so here this is checking source and this is checking both source and destination and here it is uh, permitting or denying protocol and application is specific now we will see uh, a standard ACL in detail a bit detail so standard IP ACL check the source address of the packet that can be routed uh, which packet or what packet trying to uh, be routed or uh, which packet uh, can be routed uh, so it will check source address and next thing the result entire uh, the result either permit or deny the output of an entire protocol suit based on the source network subnet and host address so this is the next thing we need to uh, uh, keep in mind at the time of uh, uh, configuration of ACL as I told you here in a small and here it's in a bit uh, length so if we talk about uh, extended extended IP ACLs check both source and destination already discussed and they can also check a specific protocol port and other parameter which allow administrator more flexibility and control uh, now we will talk about there are uh, what are the methods uh, to identify standard and uh, extended and ACLs. I mean standard and extended ACLs. So the first one is numbered and the second one is name. Uh, what will happen uh, here in numbered uh, ACL? Numbered ACLs use a number for identification. So it will use a particular number or a specific number. If we talk about the name ACL, named ACL use a descriptive name or number for identification so here it, there will be a, a small description or uh, we can add uh, something like that or it may use number as well as name so here we will see how it uh, identify how to identify acls if we talk about ip version 4 acl type or number range identifier okay so this side number uh, numbered standard uh, 1299 or 13002 9 if we talk about number extended it is 100 to 199 or 2000 to 2699 uh, if we talk about name so here we can give any name name a whatever we want to do uh, i mean we want to assign as a name of access list so we can assign so standard uh, basically one uh, to uh, you can say one triple nine, or uh, if we talk about num 
number extended it is 100 to 2699 here uh, if we see in uh, in detail same thing is here numbered standard ip version 4 list 1 to 99 test condition of all ip packet for source address addresses are expanded range uh, this this is a uh, expanded range basically uh, if we configure we use uh, in between this to this but this is expanded and if we talk about uh, extended again the so same 100 to 199 we can use but if we want we can uh, it is extended up to this one 2000 to 2699 if we talk about named acl identify uh, identify ip standard and extended acl with an alphanumeric string uh, which is also known as name so guys in this video this much only i hope this video will be informative for you if it is informative for you please so, uh, don't forget to subscribe my channel don't forget to like uh, this video comment on this video and uh, share this video so that it may reach to other people and please keep watching my videos thank you bye bye